Good morning. Good morning, sis. Good morning. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, we're on lesson 337. Have we really done 337 lessons? Uh, oh, really? Yeah. I wow. Uh, I don't remember when we started on lesson one. It's like, oh, my gosh. January 1st, it was. Was it? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Your I memory. I don't remember oh. doing it, but yeah. Okay. I should go back and watch it. Yeah. Uh, my hair must have been like two inches shorter. <laughs> two inches shorter? Yeah. Our hair's, our hair's de definitely gone, grown longer, right? Isn't that the law of hair? Yeah. <laughs> in the, in the <laughs> okay. Why don't you read the lesson and I'll shut up. <laughs> I love you, my sis. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> okay. Lesson 337. My sinlessness protects me from all harm. My sinlessness protects me from all harm. Um, my sinlessness ensures me perfect peace, eternal safety, everlasting love, freedom forever from all thought of loss, complete deliverance from suffering. Whoa. Wow. And only happiness can be my state, for only happiness is given me. What must I do to know all this is mine? I must accept atonement for myself and nothing more. God has already done all things that need be done. And I must learn I need do nothing of myself, for I need but accept my self, capital S, holy self, my sinlessness created for me, now already mine, to feel God's love protecting me from harm, to understand my father loves his son, to know I am the son my father loves. There's a lot in there. Whoa. Yeah, wow. you're not kidding. I think I'll finish this off and then we'll go back and unpack it, yeah? Sure. Here's the prayer. You who created me in sinlessness are not mistaken about what I am. I was mistaken when I thought I sinned, but I accept atonement for myself. Father, my dream is ended now. Amen. Pretty cut clear, isn't it? Very, very. Clear cut, yes. Clear cut, yeah. 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 In that first, I mean, in, in the actual lesson statement, my sinlessness protects me from all harm, mm -hmm. could be translated practically to my forgiveness protects me from all harm, right? Because, because that's the means by which I become aware of my sinlessness. The truth of my holy self is the sinlessness, that incorruptible innocence. So my sinlessness protects me from all harm. Right. And like I said before, the means by which I come to know that is through forgiveness. So my forgiveness really protects me from all harm and returns my memory of my invulnerability to my mind. Right. You know, something that came to me this morning, sis, I'd love to share it with our family. Sure. It's very, very simple, which, which is amazing. But retrieval of the awareness of our incorruptible innocence, uh, which translates to immunity to all attack in the ego dream, comes in direct proportion 
to our willingness to forgive all our projections, like projections from the past on the past, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. projections mm -hmm. of pain or sickness or aging or whatever onto the body, projections onto others mm -hmm. and projections onto the world, which mm -hmm. we get triggered by when we watch the news, yeah? Right. Yeah? <laughs> Yes. So it's in direct proportion. It is. And but I'm I'm finding that when we start on on the path, you know, it's like, oh, I have this upset over there and it calls itself a bad day at work or something. I don't know. And 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 you forgive it, right? And you start forgiving all the outer projections and your level of peace and happiness and stability is is directly proportional to the amount of forgiveness that you've done to clear it away and the final thing though that comes down to is i'm still i'm still kareen you know like trying to do this forgiveness work but the idea that i am kareen as as the separated as proof of the separation needs to be forgiven and the way that i forgive the first lie right that belief in separation is accepting the atonement and i think of the word atonement is at one -ment. that means that i still am at one in god as god created me god never changed his mind god is changeless so i must still be as god created me and that is the forgiveness of this idea that I could be a limited mortal or a body that or that I am the the figure in the gap as opposed to the Holy Son of God, an individuated aspect of the Holy Son of God. And so accepting atonement means I accept this correction. I was mistaken about how I am and who I am and where I am. That's just complete. This, this can never report the truth about my true identity and it leads us to that positive separation that no matter what the figure is seeing or doing or experiencing, however the mind is, is experiencing itself, that is not me. That is not my experience. These are not my thoughts, right? It's, it's, it's pulling back from the entire ego thought system. So in when and when we recognize that if that's not me and we can and and through forgiveness see that this is all the illusion and that where we are is here what dawns is the logical conclusion the separation has not occurred and when you know it those stop being words but you know that it's impossible inconceivable that you could separate that we could have ever separated that's that arising in what sis calls the incorruptible innocence yeah. other aka your sinlessness mm -hmm. that you are sinless that you are guiltless you are incorruptibly eternally innocent now there's no fear in the mind i've never left only a body only a mind that thinks it could leave mm -hmm. looking at this first part in this paragraph my sinlessness, my sinlessness ensures me perfect peace, eternal safety, everlasting love, freedom forever from all thought of loss. Could we experience a loss of peace or safety, the loss, lack of love, or any thought of loss if we weren't a body? No. You know, yeah, the only way the body could entertain any of these negative states is if it first believed that it was a limited body that it lacked and it needed to get, right? So in our incorruptible innocence, it's that knowing that I am not this body, I am not that figure and you have complete dominion. I'm here, this is the dream. I'm the dreamer of the dream. I've, I believed, you know, I wanted to have it, this experience that I am Corrine walking through this timeline and having these experiences, but that isn't me. And all I need do is awaken from the dream by accepting I'm at home in God and that isn't me. Yeah, that's the dominion over the dream and all its contents. We made it, we can unmake it. Yeah. Beautiful. And the big thing about the atonement is that, like he says there, God's already done yeah. everything. That's it. 
big thing is, are we willing to accept that? Are we willing, really, really, with an open heart, willing to accept our sinlessness? Yes. And we're not going to want to accept our sinlessness. We're not going to want to accept the atonement while we still think that mythical me is valuable. Mm -hmm. While we still enjoy the chase or think that... Judging. <laughs> yeah, or that we can find something here that's greater than God. But, you know... <laughs> We, we really did believe that for a time because that was the choice. It was our desire to experience ourselves as something different than we are that gave rise to this dream that we got lost in. But it is when we join together like we are in this YouTube family and in your spiritual groups who share that same common goal that I want to awaken because now I'm on to this. It's seek and don't find and the love is never really love and... Um, yeah, I mean, are you tired of the reincarnation cycle? That's when you hit the wall and then we join together to experience truth, love, real joining, things that can be shared, true creation. And that's going to be the tipping point where we're no longer afraid, where we're no longer thinking mythical me still has something of value. Now I've experienced enough of home Yep. the truth and i don't want anything else and that that seems to be a gradual process for most of us and and it's beautiful that's why holy relationship is the speed up of that process because that's the grounding of that perfect love right here in the dream that will convince us like nothing else can yeah very true Thank you, sis. Yeah, thanks. I just, that's been my journey. So just sharing that with you, hoping that it makes sense and it's helpful. Yep. <sighs> um, the footnote on this one, what it means to quote, accept atonement for myself in this context is clarified later in the paragraph. To do so, I merely accept myself, my sinlessness, created for me, now already mine. In other words, rather than doing something to try to purify myself of sin, I accept that I am already sinless because that is how God created me. In other words, the positive separation. I don't better Corrine. I don't make a better, more spiritual, mythical me. I forgive the thought that I ever was a mythical me and accept the truth is that God created me. God knows what he created and I am as how he declared me to be. I'm accepting that the truth is true and nothing else is true. Mm. You took the words right out of my mouth. Thank you, sis. <laughs> Yeah. One mind. One mind only. Yeah. All right. Thank so you. good. My sinlessness. That's, oh, you're reading it. But my sinlessness protects me from all harm. All harm. Does he mean all? Or are there some exceptions? Let me think. <laughs> Just kidding. What a relief. Yes. Yes. Oh. Only if there's a hierarchy of illusions. But if you think about one illusion or another illusion, they're both illusions. Both a big zero, a big nothing. So how can there be a hierarchy of illusions? So your sinlessness protects you from all harm, whether you want to call that disease or um, you're on your deathbed or you've got, you know, a headache or you're hungry. Yeah. The idea of lack in any form. That is hunger pangs, isn't it? And I'm hungry. <laughs> Look okay. at you. Look at you. <laughs> I've got some leftover Chinese food that's calling me. <laughs> now you're making me hungry. <laughs> oh, anyway, just let's be careful that we recognize that a zero is a zero is a zero. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. Anything else that we wanted to put in there? No, we're good. No, sorry. Today I'm a little foggy. It's all right. I have to forgive myself. Yes, please. You're perfect. But thank you for taking over, sis. <laughs> there I have my days. You all know my days. I might say a word or two. <laughs> <laughs>
And I'm like, please, Nook, carry me. <laughs> I have nothing to give today. Uh, we love you. We give you that for sure. Yeah, thanks for coming along with us, guys. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy. Shine the light, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Bye.